it became a, such an important film to me early on. It's, it really, truly is storytelling through editing. I admired the ambition of the film so much. And my eyes just opened up, you know, to the possibilities of editing. C'était comme s'il n'y avait eu dans tous ces jardins que vous et moi. Nous parlions de n'importe quoi, du nom des statues, de la forme des buissons, de l'eau des bassins. Ou bien, nous ne parlions pas du tout. There is no narrative to speak of. Uh, and when this uh, film opened up in uh, 1960, 61, it drew tremendous crowds for this kind of film. Everybody's first reaction to it was they didn't know what it was about. The actors are very wooden, or they seem to be wooden. There is not much narrative. And uh, if there were two key words to keep in mind as you watch this, one of them is uh, juxtaposition. One of the, the other might be consciousness. It's also good to know that the director, Alain René, had started his career as an editor. Que l'année dernière, à cette époque, il faisait si froid que l'eau de bassin avait gelé. Mais cela doit être une erreur. You could see the juxtaposition quite easily uh, because uh, the same characters appear in different spaces at diff different t times. In other words, there is no linear. Uh, there's no linear movement except you feel a linear movement. You feel the unconscious movement of the piece, but it's, it's a film that exists in its editing, uh, going back and forth through time, going through various levels of fantasy or fact, uh, and costuming each of those little bits of reality differently. Uh, staging it somewhat differently, uh, the uh, arrhythmic quality of the film, the clusters of rapid editing, and then the kind of quasi-monotonous movements. Uh, it, it just uh, adds up to magic and mystery for me. C'était toujours des murs, partout autour de moi, unis, lisses, vernis, sans la moindre prise. C'était toujours des murs. Et aussi le silence. Je n'ai jamais entendu personne lever la voix dans cet hôtel. Personne. And here he's crystallizing emotion, which was so, and walking a tightrope, because, because you don't know quite what the emotions are. He's, he's proceeding up from his unconscious and uh, Alan Rob Brier's unconscious, the, the screenwriter, and they're, and they're doing this film about, as you say, thought process about fantasy, uh, and they're pulling it off. Every time I see that film, I want to see the whole film again, and I just saw it a week ago. 